Hey, welcome to today's quick edit. In this video, we're going to be editing this photo from the tulip shoot I did. I'm going to have a few quick edits with different images from them, and there's even going to be at least one bonus photo that is only available to my Patreon followers at a certain level. So here, Make sure I've got that as shot. I've got the image. This is a pixel multi-shoot image, which means that, that uh, the camera took multiple images. I'm using a Sony a7R 3 It took multiple images. Each one, it shifted the pixel locations, the, the colors each time, took four images, and then it combined them in the Sony software. I shot this tethered to my Microsoft Surface, so it combined them as I was shooting. I'm going to do another video soon where it shows you uh, how I can combine the, the images in the Sony software, because when you shoot directly to the SD card, you have to co combine them in the Sony software before you can bring them into Lightroom or... Adobe, Adobe Camera Raw. A regular Sony file is an ARW raw file, and this converts and makes a new kind of raw file that's an ARQ, but Lightroom and Sony, or not Sony, <laughs> Lightroom and uh, Adobe Camera Raw can read them now just fine. They update it recently. So let's go ahead and start working on this photo. One thing I really want to be mindful of is I really like this dark here. Oh, Tell you what lens I used and what lights I used. See up here I used a 50 millimeter lens. It's the 51.8 prime lens, the basic one from Sony. And I used three lights here uh, in front, camera right and a little bit above, almost right next to the camera. I have an aperture f7 light turned down all the way to its warmest setting and a pretty low setting, I think it was around 30 or 40 percent. Might have been a little bit, one third of a second, I probably was around 50 percent. In the back, right off camera, I have a little aperture M9 light like this uh, with an orange, with the white diffuser and an orange gel on it. And over behind the crystal vase. I have another of the little aperture M9 lights just with a white diffuser on it and both of the M9s are turned down to their lowest level. So let's check for clipping. So obviously there's a little clipping in the bright lights of the vase. I'm not really, let's see, we can bring that down a little bit. Yeah. Actually, when I bring that down more, I'm not going to bring it down too much, but kind of liked how that altered the shadow there, or the reflection, I guess. And I'm going to bring my exposure up just to the tiniest bit. Not too much. I may actually come in and do a radial filter in the, over this front flower, and maybe that one to bring the exposure up by itself a little bit, but I want to do the some overall editing first. Bring the shadows up just a tiny bit. See, I looks good in that one, it's too much for everything else. So just right there. I'll leave my whites where they are. I get clipping if I move my blacks, so I'm actually gonna put those back down to zero. Okay. Not gonna do any clarity. I'm gonna bring my vibrance up just a touch. I'm gonna watch, I can see a little spot right here. Middle trying to clip. I didn't mean to adjust the saturation. I hit it by accident. Leaving the saturation there at zero. Let's come down to the tone curve and work that. Let's start with the lights. Yeah, see that? I mean, that, that really did good. And shadows. Yeah, pretty traditional S is going to look nice on this one. Okay, that looks good. Let's work on that saturation and luminance. I, I'm going to turn the red up a little bit that I think I'm going to... Okay, let's just bring it up just a tiny bit. And the orange, the yellow. Bring our greens down just a little bit. 
luminance. I'm going to bring the luminance of the green down. Not too much. It's affecting the flowers more than it should. And let's see. Bring luminance of the yellow, orange, and red up. Actually up quite a bit. Not going to change the hue of anything. Let's turn off the clipping. Okay, before, I'm not going to do any overall sharpening. I mean, look, that this is really sharp in there. I know some people think everything needs sharpening. And I'm not going to do that, but I am going to come in here now. And put the radial filter over the this flower. I'm going to invert it so that it affects the inside of the flower, not... I want to see... my whole image here. So I'm going to bring the shadows. Ooh, that looks awful. <laughs> Feather it a lot. Let's bring... Oh, the exposure's all the way up to one. It's actually zero out the exposure, so it's the same as everything else. And just bring up the shadows in there just a little bit. And I'm going to bring up the clarity inside the flower and sharpness there. I don't want to do too much. Those reds and oranges just get real harsh real fast. Let's see what happens when the whites up without just a tiny bit. Okay, I add that at 22 and I like it there, but I'm going to see go crazy and then bring it back down. Oh, we're going to keep it right around there. Ooh, we don't want to do the highlights. All right. There. So we just add a little pop to the main flower focus. Let's see. Let's enable my profile correction and it got the lens correct. I don't see any chromatic aberration, especially not when I use the pixel multi shoot. But since I've got that crystal in there, better safe than sorry. I am happy with the calibration. So I am done with this one. Thank you for joining me for this quick edit. Every day I share a new photo on Instagram, Patreon, and my website. On Instagram, I share the Instagram ratio cropped image. On Patreon, I share the uncropped image, and my patrons can download either the web resolution or the full high resolution image every day, along with a weekly Lightroom preset based on one of the week's daily photos. Prints are available on my website at terrymcclary.com. Patreon supporters can also get discount codes to use on prints. Every day, I also post a quick edit video here on YouTube where I edit the photo of the day. To get the daily quick edit video in your YouTube feed, make sure to subscribe. If you already subscribe, ring the bell down below to get notifications when new videos are posted.